To write the name for CO3P2, we first need to recognize that CO, that's cobalt, that's a transition metal, and then P, the phosphorus, that's a nonmetal. So we're going to use these rules to write the name for CO3P2. First, we'll write the name for the metal as it appears on the periodic table. CO, that's cobalt. Next, we write the name for the nonmetal as it appears on the periodic table. So P is phosphorus, lowercase p, and we take the ending, the O-R-O-U-S, change that to I-D-E. So far, we have cobalt phosphide is the name for CO3P2, but cobalt is a transition metal. So we need to write the charge on the cobalt here between the names. We know that phosphorus forms the phosphide ion. That's 3 minus. So we have 2 times 3 minus. That's 6 minus. For our cobalt, that has to add up to 6 plus. 3 times 2 plus, that would give us 6 plus. So these two numbers, they would add up to 0, net charge of 0. So we're going to write a Roman numeral 2 in parentheses between the names. That makes the name for CO3P2 cobalt 2 phosphide. And the 2, that comes from the 2 plus here with the cobalt. This is Dr. B with the name for CO3P2 cobalt 2 phosphide. Thanks for watching.